it's important to note the differences between fall protection, fall prevention, fall restraint, and fall arrest. Fall protection refers to the overall industry and process of protecting workers at height from falls. Typically, the first image that comes to mind when dealing with fall protection is a worker using a full-body harness connected to an anchor point with a lanyard. This type of system is a fall arrest, or more specifically, a personal fall arrest system. However, this is not the only form of fall protection. In fact, it is one of several choices in most comprehensive fall protection programs. Fall prevention is defined as systems and techniques that eliminate the possibility of a fall, such as guardrails, nets, stair rails, ladder cages, warning lines, and controlled access zones. When installed and used correctly, these systems are usually quite simple and self-explanatory, requiring minimal training, yet still providing a high level of safety. These types of systems are called passive fall protection systems. Fall restraint systems are designed and rigged to eliminate the possibility of workers reaching a fall hazard. Lanyards must be shortened and anchor points must be positioned so workers cannot reach the edge where the potential for a fall exists. Fall restraint systems are often referred to as travel restrict systems. The benefits are obvious. If the possibility of a fall has been eliminated, the potential for serious injury has also been effectively eliminated and the need for rescue has also been eliminated. It is important to remember to take all related hazards into account when using a fall restraint system. Often a fall restraint system is set up to protect a worker from one hazard and then it is later discovered that the worker could also travel to another point, not in his immediate work area, where the potential for a fall exists. In these instances, the system should also be designed with fall arrest considerations in mind. While fall prevention protects the worker by eliminating the possibility of a fall, it is recognized that engineering cannot always eliminate the risk of a fall. In such instances, fall arrest systems are normally implemented. Unlike fall prevention, fall arrest assumes the inevitability of a fall and is designed to arrest a fall and to minimize injury in a fall event. Even with this assumption, it must be stressed that fall arrest systems are not a replacement for care and attention in the workplace. A common problem experienced during the early stages of a fall arrest program is the increase in falls due to workers feeling invulnerable and becoming careless. This can often be dealt with through proper training and diligent communication.